I'm gonna do a velocity check on four rifles. Um, this is called the uh, uh, Crossman Valiant uh, Elite, and this is called the Diamondback um, Elite, and they're both in 22 caliber, and that's the name of them from Crossman. All right, and this is the Gamma Magnum Swarm in 22 caliber, and the Hotson uh, Carnivore QE in 30 caliber. Um, with uh, the only one that has a wooden stock is the Crossman Valiant. All right, um, uh, let's see here. Oh boy, I got the sun coming over right here. It's gonna make it kind of hard to see um, this right here. But if I'm lucky, I can do it. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot uh, the uh, RWS Hobby 11.9 uh, grain. Uh, in 22 caliber, and then I'm going to shoot uh, the Barracuda 30 caliber with 46.30 grain. I'm going to do three shots in each rifle. Um, I have a cheat sheet over here to tell uh, what the foot pounds are in, in about every two sets of foot pounds between 16 and 24. Then I have 25 and 26. That's for uh, foot pounds of energy uh, for the 22 based on these pellets. So, I'm going to start off with the hot sawn. Um, the, um, the pellets that work best in these for accuracy and hunting is not these or power, but I'm using these because uh, they're cheaper and I have more of them. So here goes the hot sun with the H&N Barracuda, and this is 46.3 grain. Now, um, if I can shoot 541 feet per second, that will give me 30 foot-pounds of energy. So here we go. 534. 534. That's pretty close. Thirty-seven. This thing will wear your muscles out too. <laughs> okay, third shot. Five thirty. And five thirty. All right. So that's about uh, right around five thirty-four average. All right. Now I'm going to shoot. Uh, oh, I got to load this one. This is the Gamma Magnum Swarm. I gotta put three shots in here. Sorry about that, I should have loaded that ahead of time. But hey, you know, anybody can make a mistake. Even me. He, he, he. All right, 11.9 grain. Um, if I go 953 feet per second, that's 24 foot pounds. Uh, if I go 992, that's 26 foot-pounds. So let's see what I come up with. I think it's going to be closer to 24 foot-pounds. Here we go. 1037. Uh, no, I'm wrong. It's more. It's probably 27 foot-pounds. 1033. 1085. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how much that is. <laughs> it's a lot. Maybe 20, maybe 28 or 29 foot pounds. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to do the diamond back. I love the Diamondback. It is light and it's accurate. It's good for dove hunting, stuff like that. 880. Now this is rated a little higher, but 
with these kind of pellets. But hey, you know, what can I say? 867. That makes that about 871 average so far. Okay, last one. 871, that's about 868 average right there between those three, somewhere around there. All right. Now, my favorite one of these four rifles, the Crossman Valiant. I bought this one at Sportsman's Warehouse. It's the only pellet gun I've ever bought from Sportsman's Warehouse. But I, lot of, I bought a lot of other rifles, outer burners from there. I like this rifle. 876. It's quieter than the Diamondback, even though it's got the gold rated suppressor on both. Nine hundred. I forgot what the first number was. So nine hundred. And eight seventy nine. So that's pretty good, you know. So let's just. Uh, I'm gonna do one more because I don't remember the first number. So that's around eight ninety between the last two pellets. So uh, let's call that 885. And that would be right around 21 foot pounds of energy. Real close to that, just a little under. All right. So, all right. So I'm going to do the diamond back a, a few more shots and we'll just figure out. I forgot to figure out what the energy was with it, I think. So I'll just do a. A couple of shots with the diamond back again. Just two of them. Here we go. 881. And 864, around 870. So that's right around uh, 24 and a half to, to almost 25 foot pounds of energy there. So that's pretty cool, you know. Um, the Hotson and the Gamo uh, Magnum Swarm are closer to uh, what they're advertised to be, I think, than the two Crossman rifles. But you know, uh, the Valiant is so accurate. It's the most accurate of all these four for me. My daughter has a diamond back and it's uh, the most accurate of all five, you know, even though it's the same as my Diamondback. Hers is more accurate than mine. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, later on, I'll do an accuracy test with some of the rifles.